Ready to do this? I'm. Re- I think so. So, so this we're recording this way in advance. We're looking forward to sometime, probably early April. Yeah, maybe like the the first Tuesday in April, or the maybe it will be the Tuesday after the solar eclipse. Oh no 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 no, that's too far. That's too far. Too far. Too far. Close call. All right, all right. Well, we're so we're gonna be out of March, but in the spirit of March Madness, right. there's basketball going on, and March Madness will be, you know. The basketball's in the air. We thought maybe we would do something different. Maybe something. It's a little more silly, a little more, you know, lighthearted. Um, but we maybe. thought. <laughs> might get heated. <laughs> we'll see. Might, might get competitive. Um, but, but we want to do a, like a draft. Yeah. Like, like we're general managers. Sure. Yeah. And we're picking a team. Yes. And I asked Zach, like, what's, like what, what type of team are we picking? Like, are we picking the most <laughs> sanctified team? <laughs> the most powerful team and he was like you know it's your team michael pick pick the yeah, team you want that's so. right and, and you'll make some arguments for what you're trying to put together maybe right. like you'll kind of frame it and maybe you know people can chime in who's got the got the better team here we'll have some fun um but i'm excited for it i'm excited let's, let's take it to the next level From the hearts of the low country in South Carolina. It's the Take Two Podcast, where we take theology to the next level. All right, Michael, we are going to draft. But before we do, let's go over some, some ground rules. Some things you said I think were really important. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I, was at, I had questions because this was, this was Zach's brainchild. I was like, so we're only drafting humans. And I thought, well, I really can't say that because Jesus is still a human. That's true. Stay so, away from heresy. So um, we wanted to draft only people who are mere humans. No angels. No, no demons. No S- demons. Don't draft Satan. No Nephilim. <laughs> Nephilim. Um, <laughs> so all, you know, those, I, I mean, I guess you could draft a, a Nephilim if you wanted to. I'm here for it. Like, yeah. You is, know. is Goliath on the table? Goliath is okay. on the all table. Right, right. Are you, okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll see if any, anyone grabs him. Um, and maybe maybe we'll do it this way um, to, to even it out. Whoever gets the first pick goes first. Then the next guy goes two in a row. And then and back then, and forth and then after that. One okay. and one just to, you know. Sounds see, reasonable. See, see where it goes. Um, so let's figure out who gets this first pick. All right. Uh, do you trust me, Michael? I think I do. Yeah. I'm. I'll. I'll do this for the camera. Okay. C- close okay. your eyes. I'll close my eyes. I'm. I'm, okay. hold, I'm so holding I'll up see, a number. I'll see this. Yes, you could. <laughs> when I do post production. <laughs> right. So integrity yeah, is yeah. here. Um, pick a number between one and two. If you get the number right. Between one and two. Okay. Either one and either two. One and two. <laughs> yeah, okay. one and a half. Right. Um, and if you get it right, you get first pick. If you do not get it right, um, I get the first pick. This I got my number okay. up. Two. I open your eyes. Okay. All right. So, so fair, fair and square. I, all right. We, I will start off with the first pick here, and um, I'm gonna go with a guy straight, straight out of Tarsus. He that is, is a, my number one pick. He's a he's a Hebrew of the Hebrews, but also uh, a Roman citizen, none uh, other than the Apostle Paul. Uh, you know, the the undisputed <laughs> first round pick, top of everyone's draft. Oh board. man. Oh. So that, that, you took it from me. That, that's that's going to be a strong pick. Obviously, I picked him because he's a great communicator. He's written a lot of letters, divinely yeah. inspired. Bald, apparently. Bald, bald, bald apparently, yes. <laughs> um, By some early pictures. He, he's yeah, all, all the pictures, man. It's, Paul's, Paul's always bald. Um, he brings that authority, yeah. that apostolic authority, multicultural. Yeah. You know, so he's going to relate to teammates. Maybe you draft someone from a different century a different country, whatever, he's going to be able to relate to him. Um, he also, in all the pictures, got that beard. Want to yeah. have, have a strong, strong yeah. team. Full, yeah. full beard. Yeah. He's tough. He's been through a lot. Woo. He I has. Mean, he is a man's man. He knows how to make a tent. He, he also can, yeah, make a tent yeah. with the best of them. I was thinking of cons. Not a lot. I mean, bad reputation from, from his former days. Right, right. But he was a disciple of Gamaliel. Very true. Yeah. And God allowed him to work miracles. Pretty impressive. Yeah. I remember my mom being young and she was like, I, we're going to take this class. It's being offered. I think it may have been through like ASU BB. I don't know, but it was like the life of Paul. Okay. Yeah. And I was thinking, I don't know. Like, I, I try to, I remember what I thought. It doesn't really make sense. 
and I'm trying to make sense of what I thought. Maybe it was some type of pride or arrogance or something like that. Like, who is this Paul guy? Like, mm-hmm. and I was, I remember telling her, why would you study the life of Paul and not the life of Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, that is like the cheat code. You can right. always trump someone, right? right, right? right. Yeah, trump, yeah. Trump, yeah. That was great. Yeah. Oh, man. I had Paul as my number one I, pick as well. Everyone wanted him. So, but yeah. you get two picks in a row. I get two picks so. now. Okay. So I get to go, get to go now? Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I'm trying to decide here because uh, I have a list with Paul off the top. Um, I think, and I get two. You get two, so yeah. So I think I'll go with the Apostle John. Oh, that is such a good pick. Part of me was hoping that you would pick Peter, and then I would say John's faster than Peter. <laughs> it's in the Bible, yeah, yeah. but yeah, that's yeah. a good second. That's yeah. a good. So, pick. so John clearly has that sprinting capability, which is what I have. <laughs> I don't have, and you laugh, I don't have long distance. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Because yeah. when I coach football, I would, you know, dare my, my guys. And, and you know, it's a coach's trick. Run them a little bit. Get them a little Dude, bit that's tired. That's move. And then race them, and they're like, whoa. But, yeah, so John, man. That's a good pick. He wrote the Gospel of John, obviously. He wrote First, Second, Third John, man. the Book of Revelation. Got that, those visions. And he is... Uh, he, his gospel, you know, especially that opening, yep. it really speaks to someone with a philosophical mind because he's talking about and he's yeah. laying out. We talked about verse three, you know, everything came in existence by him. Yeah. Nothing came in existence. I mean, pe- not people by him. recommend John to a lot of people. Hey, start here. I mean, Paul right. has Romans, right? But John has John. John has John, and this that's big. It's kind of seen as the you know the peak of the deity of Christ. Um, yeah, I don't, apostle whom Christ Christ loved, right? Yeah, that's big. also. Lest you think he's a softy son of Zebedee, a son of thunder. He right. just is bringing it yeah. all around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he lived a long time. <laughs> and and he's, he, he was living a long time. He can't be boiled yeah. alive. He, I'm he trying was, to think if there's any drawbacks. I, w- I was trying to think about this, too. I was really hoping you'd pick Peter because then I could like really get you with, the, with, that, with that John <laughs> verse, uh, John 24. Uh, yeah. But really, I mean, so, so, solid pick. So I, I, think, I think you're in, yeah. you're in good okay. footing right now. So my next pick... Going to the Old Testament. Got to. Oh, I hope you don't. I think you're going to pick who I want. Um, maybe, maybe not. Because um, I, I have a couple. There's a couple. Yeah, a couple, I have a couple, couple Old Testament yeah. on here. And I think this really speaks to my, you know, I've talked about, you know, what draws me to Lord of the Rings. Oh, what man. draws me to, it's like, you know, if you could wield power. Mm-hmm. And you think of someone in the Old Testament who wielded power. You might think Elijah. Oh, man. I'm on the edge of my seat. But Elisha said, I want a double oh, measure. Give me those. And yeah. he had 14 recorded miracles, one of which someone was man. dead, thrown into Elijah's tomb because they were at war, hits Elijah's skeleton, Boom, comes Boom. back to life. Oh. So I'm picking Elisha as Dude, my second that, round pick. I was not expecting that, but solid pick. Part of me thought maybe Elijah for the whole bald kids making fun of him and getting That's the bears. Elisha. That's Elisha. That's so Elisha. Then, so it fits. It fits. It, it fits because it's like after Elijah gets taken out and he's kind of walking Man. back. After the chariot of fire, he's walking back and those kids call him out. And he's See, like, she bear. go." And it says kids. They're probably like. 18, That's 20, true. yeah. Yeah, and in my mind, they're like, you know, eight-year-olds, like, <laughs> looking up in the yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you're, you're yeah. absolutely right. And I, see, this is what I love with the draft, you know. it's it, You know, you got to get... Floating the axe head. I think that was oh, Elisha. Man, I think I, I, my sometimes my Elisha, Elijah... It's it's miracles that, run run together, but I, I won't pretend to be be the expert. But yeah, with a double portion, isn't it? He had exactly twice recorded right, miracles. Yeah, right, as twice yeah. as recorded that's, miracles as, as Elijah. Well, so d- that's my second pick. All right, we so got. So I guess John I got to take Paul Elijah. off of my list here, yeah, you so I can it. so I can maybe uh, yeah I'll do it this way. So I'll do my actual picks down here. Well, I I'm going back to the Old Testament as well. Want a well rounded team? Don't want to be New Testament heavy. Um, and I'm I'm going with a guy. It's probably probably no surprise. He'll be a good a good you know leader in the locker room there. Um, coming coming straight out of Bethlehem, man after God's own hearts. What I what I like about King David, my second pick, is that he's going to bring that physicality, but he's also going to bring that emotional side. Like he's going to want it, maybe more rouse down. He'll turn on some music. 
yeah. good at that kind yeah. of thing. You yeah. know, bring bring morale up. Mm-hmm. Um, he's got a great great shot, good accuracy. That slingshot <laughs> transfers on the, on the field. Right, right. <laughs> so I'm I'm thinking that's the pros on on the con side. Emotions can go both ways. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 so yeah. anger can get out of control. Yeah. Got to kind of keep them in, in check a little bit. But I think that kingly presence, and it's not like, I mean, no no disrespect if you're going to pick Solomon or someone, but he grew up in the king's household. He had everything. David, he worked for it. He, he knows what Absolutely. it's like to come from the Absolutely. from the field shepherding and bears yeah. and lions. So He was actually second on my list, but I felt like... With Paul, like again, gravitating to the use of miracles and stuff, I had to pick up John for my New Testament person, and then yeah. I had to go to Elisha over David. So you, 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 David would have been my next oh, one. Um, so yeah, yeah, you narrowly got it because David, I feel like out of all the Old Testament people, he was most like a New Testament person because the Holy Spirit comes on him as a I young age, that down. yeah, that's right, and never is it recorded that oh. it left him. Like even after his sin with Bathsheba, Psalm 51, he says, you know, renew yeah. the joy of my salvation, but not like bring your spirit back to me. Like Saul, spirit yeah. on him, enabled him to do some great things. He disobeys, spirit leaves oh, him. Yeah. Um, so I, I like a that. Great David's pick. not afraid to admit he made a mistake. He messes up out there on the field. He'll own up to it. Good leadership. And, and then, I mean, we spoke of the slingshot. He's dodging spears left and right from Saul. He's got some agility. He can move. Yeah, and in some ways, I feel like, like I think I'm. I, well, I don't want to. You know, <laughs> I don't want, this is gonna come off. Like, I think uh, I really like Paul's logical thing, mm-hmm. but I think maybe David more than anyone I re- relate mm. to as a person. You know, I played sports, played football, was in you know in yeah. the thick of it there. Music guy, Big was a guy. music guy. Yeah. You know, so I think that there's this well-roundedness to to David. He wasn't just yeah. uh, a single thing. Um, so yeah, I think it's a great pick. And and I'll, I'll tell you this: I'm, I'm sure I'm sure, I know you were worried you might, it might come off bad comparing yourself to King David. I think you did a great job. <laughs> <laughs> I think you did a great job. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, well, yeah. well, who yeah. who is your third wow. pick? Yeah. So so I'm concerned I don't have enough people with however <laughs> okay, many overlaps yeah. that we have. But on here. It, you know, it might be surprising. Oh, I'm ready. You just picked David. Uh huh. On my list is Jonathan. Wow. Is that is that no, a dark horse? That that's a dark horse. That's surprising. Not a bad pick if you go that way. And I think that's why people are tuning in for this draft because it's yeah. not just it's not going chalk. Right. Right. Like we're going we're, <laughs> we're going deep, like Tom Brady <clears throat> sixth round. Right. right. So you got to find some of these diamonds yeah, in the yeah, rough here. Yeah. 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 Cause I mean, Jonathan just impresses me with his love of David, this brotherly love. He sees David. He knows. I don't know how he knows, Mm -hmm. but he knows that David is destined to be the next king. What he could have rightfully said, this is mine. And yet he's like, I'm with you, David. And then, and yet obediently follows his blundering father into these craziness. And, you know, basically gives up his life to the Philistines in this, in this battle. And uh, man, but no, just, I, I don't know that there's anything bad recorded about Jonathan no, in, in the Bible. I, I think you're right. And it's like, you're like channeling your inner defensive coach where it's like, I make a move and you're like, who knows David best? Jonathan. <laughs> so you could, it's like, right. that's great for on the field right, for that. Right, for, right. It's like, he, you know, my personnel. It's like, it's like when Kobe went through that, <laughs> the screen of that guy yeah. from, from uh, Spain. Pal Gasol, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. like, when you know what the other team's thinking, nothing bad. It's like, I, this is this is great. So um, you got the Apostle John, Elisha, Jonathan. I've got Paul and King David. I'm coming in for my third pick. And I think what you've done a really good job, I didn't know if you were going to do this or not, but I was going to criticize your team for being like, you know, too many alphas in the room. Yeah. Like, you can't just have, you can't just have all... You know, it's my way or the high. You can't have right. all Jordans on right. your team. It's not going right. to be a good team. You need the Kerrs. You need, you need to. You, you need the Pippins. That's exactly right. It's a team <laughs> game, and you need to to balance that out. And so I'm going to come in with another heavy hitter. Okay. But I think, you know, every locker room needs this fatherly presence. Someone to like quiet. They've been there before. They've been around the block. They remember what it was like in the old days. They have an appreciation for everything. Um, you know, I think we all know the song. 
Father Abraham had many sons. He did have many sons. He can sons. relate, you know, looking ahead and seeing what comes. I'm, I'm going with Abraham. Wow. Now, now, that is one who was not on my list. And, and love Abraham. But, and, he, but some mistakes he, were made. He, he does, so, he, he's a little deceptive at yeah, times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's, you know, it's like this, the Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde with faith, because there's these great mm. expressions of faith. He's even known, he like Paul calls him out in Romans for his expression of faith. Yeah, yeah. And yet there's sometimes there's this timidity that he has where he's like, uh, you know, so yeah. Um, but obviously a great guy. Yeah, what, I, I was really thinking that fatherly presence. And I was thinking, you sure. know, he would be willing to sacrifice anything for the team, except sometimes <laughs> when he needed to protect himself. So, so it goes right. both ways. You know? Right. Well, he went out and, you know, rescued Lot from yeah, those. That's from true. The, all those kings. Yeah, from those kings. He... He sacrificed, was willing to sacrifice Isaac, believing that God yeah. had the power to, to raise him up from the dead. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, a solid can't, you pick. You can't, can't go wrong with Abraham. So we're we're down to, and I don't know if we said it at the top, but we're drafting five starters with a, with a six-man coming right, off the right. bench. So you've got three? Yep, I got Paul, Abraham, King David. And I've got three. I've got John, Elisha, and Jonathan. So I've got to go for my next Next person here. Next person on my list that hasn't been taken. Like, if you need someone to administer, if you need someone to order things, if you need someone to be able to maybe interpret mm. dreams. Oh, I, this is this yeah, is yeah. a great pick. Yeah, yeah, Joseph. Joseph. Yeah. Again, not not really anything. So I think the worst you can say about him is he kind of rubbed it in his brother's face with the dreams. But maybe. That's, but yeah. I mean, maybe that's like yeah, yeah, that's yeah. like reading into things yeah, yeah, yeah. a little bit. Um, I wrote down some pun about you know being in Pharaoh's court. Basketball pun. There's something there. Yeah, I could yeah. I couldn't come it, up with a good one, yeah, yeah. but you know. Yeah. But man, I I don't know that there is any explicit sin written about him. Yeah. <clears throat> and you, you may or may not know this, but Curtis named all of his children mm. after people who had no explicit sin. And so sure, Joseph sure. is one of one of Curtis's children there, but yeah, man, just wise, yeah, humble, interpret dreams, I mean, helping people yeah. like he helped the yeah. baker out. Um, was it? No, it wasn't the baker. It was yeah, the cupbearer. I mean, the baker, the baker know what was coming. Uh, had, yeah. had, I mean, he at least gave him a warning of what was yeah, about to come. The, yeah, yeah. So he did right when no one was looking. It's like that's what you want on on your team. Someone right. who's put in the work, absolutely, and you know they're doing the right thing. Yeah. Um, uh, obviously, you know, had the only downside I would say is, you know, maybe rubbed it again. This reading into the text a little bit, yeah, yeah. And, and in that, the end, he was very gracious with his brothers who did some pretty terrible things, right? <laughs> and he was like, "Hey, you know what? You meant it for yeah, evil, big sovereignty guy, but God meant it for good yeah. to save alive His people. Some say that as a prophetic, you know, looking forward yeah. to, hey, he's a picture of Christ who was sacrificed to save." Many people. Man. So, yeah, I mean, Joseph is, he was pretty, on my list. He was on my short good, list. Good, good. Yeah. I was sorry, I was sorry to have taken him. Cool, man. So, this is where we're getting, we're getting down um, to my fourth pick here. I'm scrolling because I, I was going to go with Joseph. You snapped him up. Um, I'm going to go with, you know, uh, a well known guy. Um, he's also been, been tested. He's been through a lot and just perseveres. You know, he knows things didn't go his way. But um, in the in the end, through through a little 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 bit of ups and downs, maybe there a little bit, he uh, he he came back around, and he he was blessed for it. I'm I'm picking Job, just for that patience aspect. Yeah. He he can weather the storm because there'll come a time in the season where man, people are burnt out, things are not going right. We lose to a team we shouldn't have, mm -hmm. and it's like, what do you do? Job is anchoring our team, keeping us on task. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, and. Uh... You know Job's not going to curse God. <laughs> that, that's right. right? Yeah, so that's exactly gonna, right. So he's going to help. And also Job offered sacrifices for his children on maybe they committed a presumptuous sin. So looking out for he's teammates. looking out for yeah. the teammates there. So no, that, I, I think that's a good call. That, he spoke big. to God. Yeah. I mean, maybe God yeah. spoke to him, yeah. but <laughs> he at least said, Hey, uh, I take back everything I said. You are God. Yeah, he, when he was, he, he right. was wrong, you know, yeah. so yeah. pretty blameless uh, young man old man now but uh yeah. so that, that that's my um number four pick we're getting down to the Ooh. to the nitty-gritty here okay uh so i only have a few left on on my list mm -hmm. uh because you know i guess we had a lot of overlap i'm gonna take the guy 
who could encourage you. No! That... No, this is my... This was, I didn't think you were going to pick this guy. <laughs> who Man. might speak out early. Oh. The only non-divine mm. human to have walked on water. Man, yeah. I thought, I thought he was going to be left to the end. Yeah, The guy who was oh. bold enough to go into the tomb when others raced yeah. there early. Peter. You know, you're going to need someone... Who was just gonna lay it all out there? He's he's diving on loose balls. Yep. He's doing the he's doing everything. Sometimes maybe a little extreme, but that you want that right. aggressiveness when if you're in you the battle. If you don't ever foul, you're not you're not oh, playing you're not playing hard enough. We said that a lot to our third and fourth and fifth <laughs> yeah, grade girls. Yeah. Like just get a foul, yeah, foul yeah. someone. Yeah, don't feel it's bad. It's okay. It, it stops the clock forehead. Man, so <laughs> this is this was my play. My psychology was. <clears throat> Talk you him take, down. You take John, talk him down, <laughs> snap him up. At the end. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. he was sitting there. No, no. Like leader of the early yeah, church in yeah. Jerusalem. He's a pillar, yeah. I mean, he had his missteps. I mean. Obviously, you know, the, yep. the night of Jesus's trial. Also again in Galatia where he was kind yeah. of sitting with the Jews who didn't really want to. And yeah. Paul calls him out. You know what? He takes it. He corrects himself. He goes and he he goes. You know, you're right, but I'm still going to be that bold apostle. So I I think he's a great guy to have on the and, team. And I'll, I'll say I'll say what's really going to help your team out is just having Peter and John together. Oh, they yeah. have that familiarity. They're going to balance that chemistry. They're balance each balance. other out. Yeah, it's yeah. just like they know each With other. With the intel well. from Jonathan, and, <laughs> and it's like you know. So I I think this is what we you're doing. You're building a good team. That that that's key here. Um, when I'm so I'm looking at my team. I've got Paul. I've got King David. I got Abraham. I, I did, um, you know, uh, mention so many alphas in the room. It can be hard. Mm -hmm. So I, I need someone who's just going to be a glue guy. Yeah. You know, he's going to kind of keep the peace a little bit. He's this guy, Ooh. not 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 perfectly. Ooh, I might know who you're going. Here. I, you, you might because he he's been involved in some dissension, but he's trying I, to lift people up. Absolutely. Ma maybe maybe Paul was aggressive. Good and, and, and and realistically, <laughs> this happens. I'm going with Barnabas, son of son encouragement. Of encouragement. Yeah. yeah. And, and I think just having that that guy who can be like, hey hey David. Paul needs some shots or back, back and forth. It's like, Hey, we don't have to fight about this yeah. picking up the John marks of the world and, and really, you know, helping those young up and coming rookies, you know, don't get down on yourself. This yeah. is a long, long game. So, yeah. um, he's rounding out my starting five here. That's great. That's great. Okay. So now for the so-called oh. sixth man, So I, I will tell you my thinking behind it because I don't want to, in case you, you change, change your mind to just to give you my perspective. Don't yeah. want to pull a fast one on you. Um, I'll tell you, I'm going to go with someone, go with someone who can come off the bench and get buckets. Like okay. someone, maybe there's not a lot about them, but they're coming in hot. Like okay. I, I'm putting them in for maybe five minutes, get a couple points, play some good defense. You might come yeah. right back out, right. but I need you just to give right. Paul a breather or King right. David right. needs a rest yeah. break. I'm not necessarily looking for, you know, and maybe you are, I'm just telling you my, my head sure. space. I'm just sure. getting someone who can just get some shots up and yeah. I can count on yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that that aligns with my pick. Okay, and my, okay. I think this is going to be a dark horse of dark horses. Unexpected. One, gender. It's a female. Oh, I, I, it is I a female. Okay. You, you think it is? Well, may, may, maybe not. Um, was there um, any temples involved? Temples. Oh, no. Okay. No, no. It might be no, different. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. yeah. So this is... Abigail, oh. the wife of Nabal, who will also have information yeah. on David, That's one of David's self. wives. Oh. But man, think about her wisdom, her mm. team building yep. ability, her ability to see the big picture and go, Yep. No, that's big. This is a mistake here. I've got I need to put it all on the line to fix this, or my whole household is going to be slaughtered. Yeah. That and, wisdom, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then when God, you know, righteously judges her husband, she's like, Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up and I'm gonna go with David and you know, serves him. There's no negative thing yeah. written about her. Um, you know, produces some some sons for David. Man. Uh so yeah, I, I think she's a good six six man to have on the uh, bench because when times are tough, yeah. you need someone to see the big picture, get in there and no, make some buckets. That that perspective is key and you know, you've been you how long have you been an elder at Charleston Bible Church? Ooh, I think since like 2015. Yeah, it's it's really showing with this pick. Just the <laughs> just the you know, it's big picture because a lot of people are gonna say, hey, you know, get in there and get Noah, yeah, or yeah. get or get you know, I don't know what it is, but it's like no, no, that's not what you need on this team right, right now. Right. You need that that that's that a, step. Noah's back. a different team. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, and and I like that because I I was thinking similarly too. Maybe maybe 
we'll get get a get a lady on the team. Um, I'll tell you, uh, someone who I was thinking about. I'm not going to pick. I was thinking maybe Enoch for my sixth man. Walked with God. He was no more. Absolutely. He just he's just like coming in. Yeah. And he's doing everything right. Not not there for a long mm-hmm. time, but that's not what my team needed. Um, I'm going a little bit more aggressive on the women's oh, side. Okay. I'm right. I'm going with. Um, oh. Uh, oh. So now I got your reference. I, I was doing I got a pun. Your yeah, reference yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm going with Jail, who yeah. uh, you know, tent peg through the temple can Absolutely. get work done when needed. You can True. count on her and and really she can just, drive it home. <laughs> When Literally. you have a problem, she will hit the nail <laughs> on the head. You know uh, what I'm saying? This is why we do it. This is why you're on this podcast for the puns. Um, and and uh, that that that's that's where where um, I'm gonna round up my team with with Jail. Good. Um, good. So I'm just gonna run through different names. You can chime in with people too. I I've got some honorable mentions. Not even saying I was gonna pick these people. Right. But but just some. There's a lot of. That means I, I had two people that were on my short list oh, who, that sure. that we didn't name. Yeah. Um, so one of them was more of a glue guy. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, someone that's just dependable. Mm. Even when he was young, he was dependable. Stood out as someone that, you know, could go the distance. Okay. That's Timothy. Oh, see, see that I, I thought about I thought yeah. that, that Timothy would have been a, yeah. a good good pick also. Oh man. Had that ex- mentor being mentored by Paul. It's yeah. you know. Yeah. That no, that 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 is good. Um, who was your other person? Moses, I mean, yep, I had Moses on my list as well. A, a, yeah. a good guy. Like, how do you not pick Moses? I think Moses comes with some some, some drawbacks, some some baggage. I mean, he's he's killed an Egyptian. Um, of course, yep. you're, you know, David David's killed history, Uriah. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, yeah, I can't. I and I was looking to um, Moses knows how to lead. These are the notes I took. Um, new Hebrew and Egyptian cultures. Well, again, multicultural. I didn't need it on my team because I had some Paul right, multicultural right. stuff. Right, but right, he, he's right. there for that. He was educated in the king's household. Um, strong family, Aaron and Miriam coming to the games, maybe support, but yeah. that can be a two edged sword. Well, because they they yes. did show up kind of late and was like, "Hey, us yeah. two? Yep. Yeah. And, and he, God and said, "No, not you too." Exactly <laughs> right. You see these athletes and they've got their entourage. It's like too much. Right. Maybe it's right. too much for the team. It's like a lot the Mahomes of entourage. Like, you don't need that. You don't want that. <laughs> um, the anger issues are not under control. Um, but he did talk, you know. To God in a unique way. So, and a lot of people did complain under his leadership. I know that's true for a lot of these people. But so, one reason I didn't go with him, um, you know, I, w- I was thinking, you know, Solomon and the wisdom, but, but, you know, went off the rails too much yeah, in the end, you know? I mean, yeah, uh, this guy had such a bright future. Mm. It's like Carson Wentz. It's like, you think <laughs> this guy is going to really yeah. turn it around and do good things. Mm-hmm. And then he just gets in his own head. Maybe, maybe a more recent example. Mac Jones, uh, <laughs> another more recent example, someone who you think could deliver the goods now, and similar to Mac Jones, like there's some other externals going on with Solomon. Like mm-hmm. Mac Jones, the coaching staff is not gelling. You know, there's some yeah, disharmony right. there. Solomon, you know, the, mm. he got all these peace treaties that he's trying to sign. He's trying to not. You know, his dad was a warrior. He's trying to make peace. And that you know that messes him up. So yeah, I think yeah. it's a good good comparison. I'm just gonna. Go, I, I was thinking about a prophet Isaiah Jeremiah. We can like see into the future a little bit. Mm-hmm. God's talking to us. Thus saith the Lord. Sure. Jeremiah is emotional, as we all yeah. know, the weeping prophet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so uh, I, I, I didn't go on with them. James, another pillar in the church. But but I think absolutely. it just. You got John and Peter. They're going to come up right, more right, quickly. Right. Yeah. If we had a third person, like we mm. should maybe do this again yeah, yeah. with maybe like some guests and Ooh. see what, yeah, you know, yeah. and, and, and all of them go back in the pool. I mean, the, you could kind of get a repeat, but like, what would that third team? Yeah. Uh, honestly, like? if you did it with or like three or four team? teams, you would get, you would get deep, you know, into yeah, the draft and you would yeah, get yeah. some more of those right, right. Uh, off the wall. I did have Timothy, like we mentioned, I, I wrote down Ezra and Nehemiah, you know, some of these people you're like, Oh, I got the defense, bring the wall, mm. you know? I had I didn't write her down because I was like I feel like I should put, you know I, was, I think it was like I feel like we need some female yeah. representation here, but Anna, mm, yeah, you know, her patience, yeah. her sanctification, wow. her waiting at the the temple, fasting, giving alms, like she was on my short list wow, for for her. ladies. Yeah. Man, again, another yeah. another good good look by you. Um, I think a lot of people listening, maybe not, you know. Everyone, but I think people, if they're semi-familiar with Bible, be like, "Hey, why not Mary?" It's like, uh it's like we're. 
I mean, yeah, <laughs> we're not you, Catholic. We're, yeah, I don't want to say it, but you know, we can't. Yeah, that's that's the yeah, Catholic, yeah. the Catholic pick, and it's like I was like, you know, knows Jesus well. That's an right. asset, but when right. you have all these other women, yeah. I just figured that was the, you know, a, a different pick to go through. Um, I had this written down. I wasn't going to pick that, him, but I mean, I, probably if you are a Fighting Irish fan, then then that then would you, be you pick Mary. Right? You, you you could swing that. Um, I think we both could agree. Maybe not on our team, but uh. Team Doctor Luke, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd be good. That'd be good. He's he's the 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 uh, sports uh, medicine guy there. That that um, I was really, I mean, I I've been like just, I'm exhausted from this trip. I just got on, but I was like, man, I've really wanted to get get into some more puns, and I just, man, did you have some written there? No, no, no I, I, I I mentioned I I, I want to take time just to do some research. Didn't get there, but maybe in the future we do something again. Yeah, yeah. Um, but j- just to recap the team. So if sure. anyone wants to kind of get a big picture of man, which team mm-hmm. they're matching up pros and cons. Who's going to do a little better on, on my team. We have the apostle Paul. We have King David. We have Abraham. We have Job Barnabas and coming off the bench is jail. Yeah. And so for me, John, who is purported to like, he's a guy that, you know, Peter and John does, isn't, he says silver and gold. Have I none? Well, yeah. I have, a, is it John that, Grabs them? I don't know. But it's John's either there. John or Peter. Yeah, yeah. And we, yeah, you got both got, of them. Got them both. So, yeah. yeah. So we got John. We got Elisha, double portion of cool. miracles. That's Jonathan. His nickname, double portion of, like in the arena, they're like, <laughs> yeah, DP. Double portion, yeah. yeah. We got Jonathan, man, a, a glue guy of glue That's guys great. there. Joseph, what an administrator. Yeah. Um, Peter, man, your go after it guy. And then coming off the bench, uh, Abigail. So. I, I did write one pun that I did. I did get okay. that. I, I just have to mention. Sure. Yeah. Um, you don't. Mi- you don't want that work to be wasted. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Thinking of John the Baptist and the sports yeah. analogy, right. that guy knew how to dunk. Oh yeah. <laughs> he did. Yeah, that, that one go. Right. yeah. 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 He would win the dunk contest. You know, <laughs> and a lot of people win the dunk contest might might ne- not necessarily be your starters. It, it, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So it's, it's yeah. you got to be thinking about these yeah. things when when you're drafting. So yeah. I, I think both of us have very formidable teams be interesting if we could you know head head off you know have a head-to-head you know right face off but yeah. that's what, what what's there for so hope this was a good episode a little bit lighthearted. Yeah. mix it up a little bit yeah, yeah. and uh gonna give you a uh smorgasbord of yeah. some of the characters maybe if, if you don't know some of these characters yeah go look them up that'd or be a good read maybe you're like hey you guys should have definitely drafted so and so throw it in a comment or yeah. something because i I want to revisit that. We can hash it out. Why right. we maybe didn't pick them, right. or maybe we didn't think about it. Yeah, maybe there's someone that's like the elephant in the room. Yeah, we should have picked for basketball. Maybe it is Goliath. He's nine foot tall. Maybe, maybe it is. Yeah. So, so <laughs> please, please share your thoughts. Um, but that's right. our take. That's our take. Thanks for listening. To take two. Find us wherever you find podcasts and on YouTube for those who want to watch our video cast.